Well, hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome back to my channel today. Today is Monday, July 19th, and boy, does it feel muggy today. And it looks muggy out, too. The sky doesn't look, it looks kind of hazy out today. But anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing fine. Um, we got a lot of things going on here today we got a lot of things we got to get done over this next whole week or the next couple weeks but anyways what is the big thing i'm working on around here today um obviously we got all done with all the chores this morning and everything cows milk cows fed but uh we got the glencoe cultivator hooked up to the tg210 we had the uh, other cultivator hooked up the danish tine here well actually i just unhooked it yesterday and we hooked up to this one because we got to go through the beans one more time and um i gotta do some work on here there's a bearing out in this stabilizer just it's i think this one out on this side here so i gotta take this off we got some of the gauge wheels like this are missing on here so i gotta take that out and that's gonna be a son of a gun there's three of them i gotta replace and then i think there's a couple shanks or not shanks but um shovels i gotta replace in here a few of them so and this tire needs some air and um we were also this weekend we've been doing some fencing drilling some post holes um, we're redoing um our, our calf pasture we're actually making it bigger and then redoing all the fencing out there and it just making it much better previously we had poly wire up around it but we're putting up some high tensile wire up because the poly wire it always had we just have a lot of trouble with it and so we need to get that done otherwise organic certifier isn't going to be happy if we don't get that job done so we got to get our calf pasture done calves six months or older have to have access to pasture so we need to get that done i just don't like doing fencing but we have to do it so my brother he's working on that right now i'm going to do this and uh we got a lot of stuff we got to get done go through the beans we got to get ready here again for chopping second crop hay we're behind in everything and we should be combining oats we should be doing all three things but we only have so much manpower on here to do things so but we're just gonna take it one day at a time give it our best and not panic just get her done so i better shut my mouth up and get working on this Okay, I have been uh, working on this thing for a long time. I'm still not done with it. And uh, I got this thing done up here. So it's not perfect. Not the way I like it. I don't like how that one thing is turning there. That's supposed to be. And then this thing here broke off. It's supposed to look like, like that side there. But it broke off but hopefully it will stay just kind of some springs but um i got a couple shovels replaced and i got all the gauge wheel things off that need to come off and uh, i guess the biggest thing with this whole thing is we don't have a lot of parts for this these glencoe cultivators we just don't have a lot of parts from there's a little bit more than to these cultivators and like the s tine cultivators um, the other thing is too, like some of these things here, yeah, you could see how, see all that slop there? There's supposed to be a bushing that goes in these things. There's a lot of them that need no bushings in there. And you can order them, but you can think you can order them from Shoops. But uh, we need some more shovels. I think we're all out. And, yeah, I got to get some wheels off that junk cultivator that we have i gotta get those wheels off um you couldn't get you can't order new ones uh, this one here this one here is a new one i don't know probably like 10 years ago 
but uh, but yeah the biggest thing is you can't run into town and go get parts for these things like you used to be able to do because hardly anybody uses them anymore and that's what's taken so long is because I had to walk here and look here and try to find all the parts and even the bolts for the shovels and everything and just <sighs> and I had to heat something up and straighten it and it's like oh it's taking forever to get this thing together but um anyways I think I'm gonna have to shut down here for today I haven't done any of the feeding tours so I gotta get to that so this is gonna have to wait till tomorrow and um but uh yeah, I gotta get to the feeding. Now before I forget here, I should show you the fence and see how that's coming along. But here's the fence. It's coming along. My brother actually, he's been working on it all day. I milked the cows. My, my brother and, or I and my nephew. My nephew helped me milk the cows. And uh, so this is how it's coming. He's still working at it yet. And there's our lovely cornfield. Yeah, <laughs> I don't don't look very good, but yeah, as long as we get a silage, we get silage off. It, that's all it's gonna be for. But I better get to the feeding here, and uh, we're almost done with this pasture fence. It'll be such a nice feeling to be done with it. Good morning, Archie. Huh? Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of this video. I'm just getting going here with some calf chores here this morning, but uh, it's another beautiful day again today. Nice and sunny, mostly clear skies. And, um, I guess today pretty much is going to be working on Gonna get that cultivator finished up and then uh, got to go cultivate some beans. Our brothers just got a little bit left to finish up on that fence out there. And then, um, I don't know, maybe if I get done with the cultivator, maybe I'll hook up, I might hook up the four row to the 720 and cultivate with that too and maybe my brother We'll go over and cultivate that other bean field in the far away field. We'll see what happens. Um, the corn is all done. The corn that's on that one far away field is too too tall. It is too tall to cultivate. Way too tall. It's almost probably ready to tassel. Actually, so uh, but we'll see what happens here today, and uh, hopefully I'll get that cultivator going, and uh, we'll see. The cultivator. There's really a lot of stuff that could be done to it, like a lot of those little bushings, but I guess we don't have any. And But I just got to get those three gauge wheels off that junk cultivator and then we'll be good to go. Stick your finger in that or cut it right cut you slice your finger right open <laughs> anyways uh we're all done with morning chores and stuff here i am just gonna working at this cultivator replacing some shovels here we don't have very many shovels i'm uh, just laying around like this one this is actually I got off something else but uh i'm just kind of kind of looking the thing over here Oh, there's one more of those that are out. I didn't even realize that one was out. Gee whiz, I hope we're going to have enough gauge wheels. Whew. 
but anyways um, yeah just kind of looking these things all over these shovels here which ones are, need to be replaced that one needs to be done I think there's another one up there should be done so um, I'm gonna go out we got a junk four row Glencoe cultivator I'm gonna hook that up to the other tractor bring it up here and rob parts off of that thing so it's right next door so I can quick do it and get the parts off and um, keep working out in this hot muggy weather it is it's toasty today and humid so it kind of feels like you're in a sauna almost but oh I better keep going get this stuff on and uh, get this job done I tell you hooking up this cultivator was a little bit more work than I anticipated <laughs> for once for for one thing that thing was missing there in the middle middle of the ball and I had to take that thing there loose and scoot that in just to get the three-point hooked up so it's up in the air and um, I guess let's we'll see how good these things are these gauge wheel. that one there doesn't look too old a lot of water running out of it but yeah we bought this from a neighbor oh my gosh it's probably I don't know it might have been 10 years ago so yeah so now I get some hopefully good shovels off here they seem like like they're pretty good the biggest thing is to get those uh, gauge wheels off store here because I need some bolts for the, um, the shovels on the collivator we, we don't have very many at home and if we do I'm gonna have to look and look and look and look for them and so I don't know where more is except for um, oh shoot I just killed my pickup so uh, I'll get some more bolts 
Hopefully they have some here. It seems like a lot of the stores, they have been out of things. I don't know why, but they're always out of something. So they have a hard time getting certain things in the store, so we'll see what they have here at Runnings. There. Whew. Yeah, I'm getting gonna put these new these new uh, or not these I got some new bolts <laughs> here for the old shovels at the farm store they had some shovels there but <clears throat> like everybody else they seem to be out of a lot of out of a lot of different things like I know my brother went in there one day to get some fencing supplies and they were all out of high tensile wire but I don't know it's, it's something to do, I think, with um, the pandemic, or I should say, the pandemic from last year. Because it was a pandemic. It wasn't an actual pandemic. It was just planned. But anyways, yeah, everybody's just out of a lot of stuff. So the vehicle manufacturers are out of chips. They can't get chips in because there's a chip shortage, you know, microchip shortage for the vehicles. So they can't get that. A lot of other things, but... Anyways, I am going to work on this thing here a little bit more, and then I, and I gotta, I think I'm gonna have to move this thing because I can't get to all those shovels. But I got a few more I gotta replace. This one's gotta be replaced. I'm gonna have to take these here. You have to cut these off because this is close to the the row. Otherwise, you'll take it out. I don't like how much swap there is in that thing. Hmm. Boy, there's a lot of swap in there. I guess it gives a little wiggle-ish. But anyways, enough chit chat. I'm gonna get this finished up, or just not finished up, just do a little bit more and grab a quick bike to eat and get back to the, my feeding chores. Well, everybody, um, welcome to day three of this video. And before I forget, I just want to show you guys that um, the silo is all empty. <laughs> yeah, there's cobwebs in here. It's um, completely empty. Yep, so we probably got done using out of this thing about, about a week ago, a little bit over a week ago. So uh, thankfully we put up some extra silage. We put up an, a couple egg bags worth of silage. So, which was a good thing that we did that. Being this year was a dry year. We might be a little bit short on corn silage for this year. I mean, we won't have as much corn to chop this year because of the drought. So it's a good thing we did. But anyways, I just want to show you that. Anyways, I got to get back and I'm going to show you what's left on the cultivator here to do. Okay, we're back over here by the cultivator now and basically all we have left to do is I think I've got all the shovels off this junk one I moved. I moved this thing around last night because I was sitting over here and the milkman had to come in this morning. I didn't want the tractor sitting in the way so I moved it around last night so and I got to get this gauge wheel on yet on there and um I guess then we'll be ready to go out and cultivate some some beans with it. I'm gonna try to cultivate as much as I can here. Um, my brother, he's gonna go, he has to clip off some cow, a cow or a couple cow paddocks. Maybe it's just one. So when he gets done with that, then he's gonna, I think, take that cultivator back there. And he's gonna go to the far away field and then if I have to, I'm gonna finish up. I'll hook up the other four row to this tractor and go and finish what we need to finish here with this. That way we're both getting some cultivating done. But uh, yeah, this one has to be done just because it's got, you know, this one's gonna do a little better job of getting these later season weeds because of the wider, wider sweeps on it. 
that's kind of why we're uh, using this one. some of these units here plugging up I already went out and adjust some of them but I think I need to get out and adjust that one right there just a little bit more but how about a long cordless impact here and so I'm gonna go out there and quick adjust them and we have Nice velvet growing here. And you guys fogged up on me. You're fogging up. We got a little bit of look at this ugly velvet leaf. I hate this stuff. Your hands stink. I can't get it out one-handed. You guys are just fogging up. <laughs>
Okay, I think I'm just gonna quit haul of inning. I gotta go work the feeding feeding chores. Um, I don't know, I guess this didn't work out for my brother to come out and run it here for me, but I guess he'll run it tomorrow and we'll get this field done. I'm over half done with it. So that's what we'll do. So he'll, uh, we'll get her done tomorrow and maybe we'll get the other cultivator hooked up and get that going. So, but anyways, I gotta go work at the feeding chores and uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, I am back, and that means this is the end of the video, so uh, yeah, well we just got just a quick little rain shower here, not much, just enough to settle the dust, that's all it came down, so I had to check the, the weather, you know, just like before, um, I just when I got done, call, or stopped when I quit cultivating this evening, and it said that there was no chance of rain, so I don't know what happened. The uh, weatherman was wrong, or the weather outsmarted the weatherman, or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'll just keep working at finishing up cultivating his beans, and then get started with second cut hay. <sighs> I just feel like we're so far behind this year. Oh man! And then we gotta get started on oats, and I still gotta put the this uh, feeder house chain in, replace the sprockets on the thing here too, so. Yep, you never run out of things to do on a dairy farm, especially on an organic dairy farm. And we got that fencing, fencing project is all done for the um, calves. So now we don't have to worry about the stupid poly wire out there anymore and the calves have a bigger pasture, so. We're meeting all of the requirements now that our organic certifier wants for us, for our calves. Six months or older. Yes, if you didn't know, when organic dairy farming, there's a lot of rules you gotta follow. Some of the rules, I don't agree with them all necessarily, but you have to follow them to have that organic certificate in order to be able to sell organic milk and organic crops and whatever. <sighs> yep, so you gotta follow the rules. That's the way it goes, but... Anyways, I'm tired, so I'm going to go hit the hay sack, and if you guys are tired, I hope you go hit the hay sack too. <laughs> Anyways, take care. Um, please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and head on over to Rumble. Check out my channel over there too, and I'm also on Telegram. I don't post too much stuff on there, but I do occasionally post some stuff on there because, yeah. So, Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Take care and catch you later.